Well, something which, which uh, we learned uh, while doing ECHO, we, we leverage the retail network. Uh, and, and the retail network is huge and it's across the country. It absolutely distributes everything from salt to SIM card to the remotest corners, including Nexel infested areas. And, and what we did is that we wanted to ride over this network. This was, this is the, this is the internet equivalent in the offline world. It's a huge distribution network. Uh, we, we have absolutely learned, uh, and it took us a lot of time to learn that game, to leverage this retail network uh, to drive financial services on top of it. Uh, but I'm sure uh, other services can also be rolled out uh, using the distribution of the retail network. Cell phones, absolutely. I think if in the roadmap cell phone is missing, uh, I'm not sure uh, uh, that's a great answer for a country like India. So, and and these, are, these are, I would say, low cost ways, uh, variable cost ways, uh, and low capex ways of scaling, uh, especially in uh, especially in rural areas and even in urban areas, catering to low and moderate income customers. All entrepreneurs must uh, must spend a lot of time in understanding who their customer is and their ability to pay, and that's very important. Um, and it's not that low income or moderate income customers can't pay. I have. Uh, being part of ECHO, I got the opportunity to travel extensively in rural India. And what I, I have not come across even a single cell phone in rural India which does not have a ring back tone. And that's, that's, that's saying a lot. People are paying a rupee or 30 rupees a month for entertainment uh, across the spectrum in, in, in rural and I would say uh, even in urban areas as far as uh, low and moderate income customers are concerned. Customers need to be always treated as customers. There is tendency to treat low income and moderate income customers as beneficiaries. Uh, and I think that's a very uh, discriminating way and a wrong way to sell. It never works. Customer is always the king. Uh, the value proposition which as organizations we promise to deliver must get delivered and they must have a way to pass on feedback to us if, if they feel that, that we have not delivered uh, to the extent we promised. Um, and, and one of the ways we do it is that we run a call center to collect a lot of feedback and get back to our customers. But I think uh, understanding of the customer and, and treating the customer as a customer and not as a beneficiary is very important.